Hello and welcome to Bible Facts and Quizzes. This is the last of our Lent series of Bible quizzes where we've been focusing on Jesus. In today's quiz, we'll have 20 questions about his resurrection and ascension. Please stay until the end because there's a bonus question for personal reflection. Any quotes will be from the World English Bible. If you want to improve your Bible knowledge, then do click subscribe and the bell icon. Let's learn more about God's Word together. Are you ready? Let's go. Question 1. Who placed a stone over the entrance of Jesus' tomb? Was it Simon of Cyrene, or Joseph of Arimathea, or Peter, or Nicodemus? That was Joseph of Arimathea. Question two. Who went to Pilate asking for Jesus' tomb to be guarded because that deceiver, meaning Jesus, said while he was still alive, after three days, I will rise again. That was the chief priest and the Pharisees. Question three. The women went to Jesus' tomb early in the morning on the first day of the week. What had they come to do? They had come to anoint the body with spices. Question four. When the women went to visit the tomb, what had happened to the stone over the entrance? It had rolled away. Question five. Who told the women, he is not here, for he has risen just like he said, Come, see the place where the Lord was lying. That was an angel. Question six. When Simon Peter ran to the tomb, what did he find inside? He found the linen cloths that had been wrapped around Jesus' body. Question 7. When Mary Magdalene saw the risen Lord, who did she initially think he was? She thought he was the gardener. Question 8. Jesus appeared to his disciples in a locked room in Jerusalem. What were his first words to them? Did he say, peace be to you, or I have risen, or let your light shine, or fear not? His first words were, peace be to you. Question nine. When Jesus appeared in the locked room, the disciples were scared because they thought he was a ghost. In order to prove he wasn't, he invited them to touch his hands and feet. He also ate something in front of them. What was it? Was it some bread? some fish, some fruit, or some lamb. It 
it was some fish. Question 10. One of the disciples wasn't there, hadn't seen Jesus, and so didn't believe. They said, Unless I see in his hands the print of the nails, put my finger into the print of the nails, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Who said these words? That was Thomas. Question 11. After Thomas had seen the holes in Jesus' hands and feet for himself, what did he call Jesus? Was it Master, or Lamb of God, or My Lord and My God, or Holy One? It was my Lord and my God. Question 12. In John's Gospel, the risen Jesus appeared to some of the disciples while they were out fishing. On what sea were they fishing? That was the Sea of Galilee, or Tiberias. Question 13. They haven't caught any fish. What does Jesus suggest they do in order to catch some? He suggests they throw the nets over the other side. Question 14. During this encounter with the risen Jesus, what did Jesus ask Peter three times? He asks him, do you love me? Question 15. How many days were there between Jesus' resurrection and his ascension? Is it 10 days, 20 days, 30 days, or 40 days? The answer is 40 days. Question 16. During this 40-day period, how many people did the resurrected Jesus appear to? Was that about 100, about 200, about 400, or over 500? The answer is over 500. Question 17. Why did Jesus tell his disciples to wait in Jerusalem? Was it so they would receive the gift of the Holy Spirit? Or so all the disciples would be near the temple? Or so they could preach to the Jews there? Or so they would be safe? The answer's A, so they would receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Question 18. Jesus' last instruction to his disciples before his ascension was that they were to go into the world and do what? Was it to preach the gospel to the Jews first? Or to preach the gospel to everyone? Or to rebuke the teachers of the law, or to love everyone.
The answer was B. This is known as the Great Commission. Although the wording is slightly different, it's recorded in all four Gospels as well as Acts. Matthew's Gospel puts it like this. Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all the things that I commanded you. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Question 19. Where did Jesus ascend to heaven from? Was that Mount Tabor, Mount Moriah, the Mount of Olives, or Mount Zion? That was from the Mount of Olives. Question 20. Which gospel ends with these words? There are also many other things which Jesus did, which, if they would all be written, I suppose that even the world itself wouldn't have room for the books that would be written. That's the end of John's Gospel. Just before we have the bonus question, this is the last in our Lent series with Bible quizzes all about Jesus' life on earth, his teachings, miracles, death and resurrection. These have been collated into a playlist. I'll put the link in the description. Paul writes in 1 Corinthians 15, Death, where is your sting? Hades, where is your victory? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is risen. Hallelujah. Here is your bonus question. Are you living as if the resurrection is real in your life? I'd love to hear your thoughts below. Thanks for staying till the end. We have plenty more quizzes here where you can test your Bible knowledge. Until next time, goodbye and grace and peace to you all.